to be broken. Team Extreme is back. The importance of a wrestler's theme song cannot be undermined. For example, we cannot imagine a Steve Austin entrance without the Shattering Glass or Triple H without his game entrance. Wrestlers' theme songs have become a part of their persona, and it would be hard to imagine some wrestlers without their entrance music. Though there are wrestlers who hate their themes, even though some continue to use them to this day. This happens because some wrestlers may believe that the song is not a good fit for their character, while others may have a different taste in music, and there are even cases where superstars don't like their theme though it's wildly popular with the fans. So in this video, we will look at the top 8 WWE superstars who hate their theme songs. But before we get started, we would love it if you could subscribe to our channel, to help us achieve our goal of 1000 subscribers. As we have said before, your support means everything to us. Now without further delay, let's get started. Number 8. MVP. It's true that MVP's theme I'm coming is inseparable from his character, and is etched forever with his gimmick. Hence, even after his long hiatus from the company and his eventual return in the 2020 Royal Rumble, his original theme song was kept. Though, if MVP is to be asked about his music, he would tell you that he is not fond of his entrance theme. In an interview with Chris Van Vliet, MVP explained that when he was originally pitched his music he thought that it was alright, but nothing about it excited him. He said that he went along with it anyway because Mr. McMahon had expressed his fondness for the song, and he didn't want to disappoint his boss. Although MVP dislikes his own theme music, fans to this day can't imagine MVP without his current theme. Are you a fan of MVP's music? Do let us know in the comments below. Number 7. Shelton Benjamin. The WWE's new theme song for the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin, was a miss in the opinion of the fans. Benjamin's return to the company was met with great praise from the WWE universe, but the same cannot be said regarding his new theme. Benjamin had himself tweeted that he hates his current music. The fans agree with him as they believe that Shelton should come out with his old theme as it was a better fit for his persona. It will be interesting to see if the WWE management thinks likewise, and if we ever get to hear Ain't No Stoppin' Me Ever Again. Number 6. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle's entrance theme metal, while the fans shout you suck has always been the perfect combo for his entrance. When the WWE launched the rebranded ECW under their own banner, the roster lacked star power, and so the WWE decided to send in a big name like Kurt Angle. Kurt had to change up his wrestling style a bit to make it more palatable for the ECW audience, and so he even decided to change up his theme to better accommodate the ECW brand. Kurt had revealed later that this had actually backfired. He hoped the new version of the song would make his persona more prominent under the ECW banner, but he ended up hating it. Thankfully for him and the fans, he returned to his old theme when he came back to the WWE in 2017. Number 5. Samoa Joe. The WWE Universe were ecstatic upon Samoa Joe's arrival under the yellow brand. Everything about his debut felt great with the exception of one thing, his theme song. His song at the time was lackluster at best, and resembled music equivalent to a game's loading screen. Joe disliked his theme, and so approached the man in, in charge of NXT at the time, Triple H, who approved the change. Joe submitted a few samples of music that he liked and was finally provided the new song The Destroyer which was a better fit for the Samoan submission machine. Number 4. Triple H. Triple H used the song My Time as his theme in his early career, before his ascend to the throne as the top guy of the WWE. The song suited him at the time because it was a perfect fit for his persona a rebellious young wrestler who was out to win everything. Though once he reached the top spot of the company and etched himself as a frequent main eventer, Triple H felt that his theme was now outdated and didn't quite represent the character he was at the time. So they switched his theme with the game by Motorhead, which would personify Triple H's character perfectly and is undoubtedly his most popular theme to date. Number 3. Cesaro P.N. Cesaro confirmed this by saying that he had hated his current theme. He had apparently asked the WWE for a James Bondish theme, as he was a big fan of the franchise and believed that such a song would bolster his character, though his current theme did not fit the part. It's true that Swiss Made was a bit generic, but the new theme of Return to the Fire does not do Cesaro justice. Number 2. Randy Orton. This may come as a surprise to many fans, but Randy Orton disliked his original theme Burn in My Light. 
In an interview with Game Daily Orton, revealed his dislike for the song and explained that he went to Vince Russo and Kevin Dunn to get it changed. Orton was given the song, This Fire Burns, by Killswitch Engage, but according to Mr. McMahon, the song wasn't a good fit for Orton, and he was given back his original theme, and the new track was given to the debuting CM Punk. Jim Johnston then composed a different song, Voices, for Orton which was played by Rev Theory and is used to this day. However, according to Jim Johnston, Orton still isn't a fan of his current theme, but due to the its popularity, and how good it fits him, it is unlikely that Orton's music will ever change. Number 1. Reg. Edge was never a fan of his theme song You Think You Know Me which was his entrance theme from 1998 to 1999. Edge despised the track claiming that it didn't fit his character at all. Later he got his wish and changed his theme song to Rob Zombie's Never Gonna Stop. Unfortunately though, the rated R superstar had suffered a neck injury, and by the time he made his return the copyright on the track had expired and Edge had to pick another theme. Fortunately, when Edge was out of action due to the injury, he met Mark Tremonti at a Metallica concert. He then went back to Mark's place where he listened to Alterbridge's first album One Day Remains and instantly fell in love with the track Metalingus, which he then asked for permission from Tremonti to use it as his theme music. The rest is history. Thus unlike a few superstars Edge was fortunate to be able to change his music, from You Think You Know Me to the iconic Metalingus. That's it for a list of the top 8 WWE wrestlers who hate their theme song. If you love this video, hit the like button, share it to more wrestling fans, and don't forget to hit subscribe. We hope to see you again soon.